What's up, everybody? Sunday, August 6, 2023. I'm David Delano with Winners and Winers. We're going to get into the free pick in just a moment between the Minnesota Twins and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Make sure to check out Best Bets going today. I was, went into Saturday night on a 5 0 Best Bet run. I am recording this before the conclusion of that Best Bet. So you can go ahead and check that out on the website along with our other um, hot handicappers. Uh, we did drop in early action. We dropped the free pick on Saturday as I backed the Houston Astros, who only could put together two hits, and they lost. Um, our other early play was on the under the total in the Tigers and Rays game. So um, whether or not we had a winning day is going to come down to this uh, Saturday's best bet, which is still underway. Uh, check out Winners and Winners backslash betting as well if you want to sign up for a sports book with first-time deposit bonuses that they're giving away, uh, Bet Rivers, Bet MGM, and even uh, now Bet Fred. A lot of good deposit bonuses that are going on. Let's go ahead and get into this game here between the Diamondbacks and the Twins for Sunday. When looking at this on the surface, um, it could look like this is an easy play on the Diamondbacks without thinking about it. You've got um, Cy Young runner-up Zach Gallen going against D uh, Dallas Keuchel, who was uh, – <laughs> Pretty much a fade god last year. Just horrendous numbers all the way around. Spent part of the season with the Arizona Diamondbacks. But um, for this pick, I am actually going to take, risking looking absolutely foolish, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a shot on the Minnesota Twins here. Plus 132 at home on the money line against the Diamondbacks. I think that the uh, Twins have a good shot at this game, especially at this price. I think they've got at least a 50-50 shot and at plus 132. Or even if you're on BetMGM where it's plus 125, I like it. Um, the Diamondbacks, and this is before Saturday, they um, had dropped five straight interleague road games while the Twins have won five straight interleague road games when they've been facing a team with a winning record. Now, Zach Gallen has not been the same pitcher on the has not been the same pitcher on the road that he's been at home. Two and four with a 4.93 earned run average in road games. And the Diamondbacks are on a four-game losing streak when Gallen has started. He's allowed six home runs in those um, last four games. Now, I know I mentioned any numbers you look at for Keiko last year are terrible. But, you know, this I think is going to be at least a nice short-term redemption story. Uh, Dallas Keiko, six starts at the AAA level this season. 1.13 earned run average. And um, his last three starts, he's gone six innings. He has not allowed more than two runs in a AAA start. I know that that's just AAA, but he has been impressive at that level this year. First game back, he spent part of last season with the Diamondbacks. Back against the wall for Keuchel. I may get a couple starts here for the Twins, and honestly, if, if he can't perform, his time in the league, his career could simply be over, especially seeing how well he pitched in the minor leagues if he can't perform at the big league level here. I like Keuchel to get it done, and honestly, when you look at these bullpens and you look at these bats, I mean, in the late innings, it's hard to trust anyone. It can be anyone's game. I think if Keuchel really can just pitch four innings and give up two or three runs, he's going to put the Twins in a shot in a position to win this game late. And I think that um, at plus 132, it's worth it. You know, you don't have to rock with it if you don't want to. But for Sunday, August 6th, free pick's going to be on the Minnesota Twins on the money line, plus 132. God bless and good luck.